Yes, it was a tough night at the office for the Silver Ferns, going down by eight goals to the Australian Diamonds. Timber Power Bailey, what went wrong for the Silver Ferns and also how did they turn it around in time for Monday in Melbourne? It was definitely a scrappy start from both teams, I must admit. However, I think the Diamonds won that second quarter and that's where they put their foot down and never took it off for the rest of the game. In the regard to winning on Monday night, you know, they don't like losing. And I think you won't see a performance from Irene twice in a row. So I'm hoping that they'll regather themselves, still stick to the game plan. And they didn't tonight. And that was so disappointing. Their defence out there wasn't the same. They were playing man on man, which is not their style. Katrina Grant in the back is used to going out to get intercepts from there. And they just didn't set it up for that. What did you make of Tutaya's game? In the circle in general, it just wasn't coming off for them tonight. It wasn't coming off, and Tutai had to do a lot of work. I thought sometimes she was a bit guilty on taking the feet of space out there, but in saying that, um, Taidi wasn't an option, and she wasn't a strong option in there. Um, Tutai definitely shot better in this test, and she admitted that as well. And she coped with a lot of changes out there as well, and it's really hard to cope with a wing attack change and then in that goal shoot. What about the wing attack position? It has been a problem virtually all series. Did they swing the change too late? I think they may have done that. I think you could see in the first um, quarter that they were struggling. There was no drive, no penetration towards the circle edge. And Irene, I think Irene was definitely on on the first second, but Tyree looked across the court instead of looking down into her. Did things pick up, you think, when Francois came on? I'm really impressed with Francois in that uh, wing attack. I thought she may have come in at centre and Laura went to wing attack. She did some great things. She did some great drives. She kept Helen in busy, which kept her out of the middle pocket so Tutaya could drive through there and Langman onto the circle edge. She did some drives. She re-offered. She offered again. She passed and cut. And she put some nice feeds into Van Dyke and was patient with the ball. She got an intercept too, which is very rare for an attacking player to get. The battle between Irene Van Dyke and Laura Geitz is proving one of the highlights of this test series and Geitz was the player of the match tonight. She was the player of the match, so I think that's 2-1 tonight to Geitz. Uh, Irene got the first test. She's got the last two. So I think depending if Irene's on, she will get the next one. She just got caught on the baseline and I think the movement was a bit too late and a bit laboured. Geitz likes to feel her goal shooter so she can just look ahead as opposed to looking at her with her eyes. So that's where she gets the opportunity to go out to intercept. Latu came on and I thought she did a great job because it was a different style of player that Geitz had to adjust to, but she did adjust and she did get some intercepts. OK, it's do or die on Monday night. The Silver Ferns have their backs to the wall, uh, losing the last two matches, but it's 2-1 to the Australians' advantage. Let's see how it all unfolds on Monday night at Rod Laver.